is the Culloden Battlefield, 1745. The uh, Brits took care of Bonnie Prince Charlie and the Scots Jacobites in less than an hour. A little thatched hut, probably uh, a typical farmhouse in the 1700s. So this was the battlefield. Well, here's what's left of the cathedral at Elgin. The uh, octagonal building is probably the chapter house where they would have their meetings. And there's part of the church. It must have been a very big church. This cathedral is unique in Scotland because it's got an octagonal shaped English style chapter house. What's left of the bishop's palace? Probably hard to tell, but it is snowing. We've got six degrees. Celsius, but there is snow coming down. A little town of Dufftown, and there are lots of distilleries nearby. This is a Glen Fittich distillery. Here, the dried malt is ground into a type of coarse flour called grist. Here, the grist is mixed with hot water in the mash tun, and the uh, sugared liquid resulting flows out, and the bigger parts that are left are sold as cattle food. This is a wash room, and there's six of these big this is where yeast is added to start the fermentation and the action of the yeast on the sugar produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. Four more in here. I think these are even larger. Another one back in there. A couple, maybe four more. There's 35. A lot cheaper, it lasts a lot longer, it's easier to clean, maintain, and control. But stainless steel is going to give a slightly different flavor to the beer. So, we're still using the wood wash bags. The wood here comes from Canada, it's five so meters the tall. Future whiskey down in there, bubbling away with the um, yeast. It's being filled, that's why it's so bubbly, and it takes two hours to fill it. The measurement of the original still was back in 1887. Because if you were to change the shape and the size of the stills, even by a little bit, it would actually change the flavor of the whiskey. So they're all made to the exact measurements of the original stills. They're also handmade and made completely out of copper. Now we can only use the first 40% of this liquid. This is known as the low wine. It's about 25% alcohol by volume. Of course, that's too weak to be considered whiskey. Use the stills in here. 
and I think they've got 15 of them. They last about nine years before they have to be replaced, and it smells wonderful in here, probably from the yeast. Here we are in the tasting room. We were able to taste four different uh, scotches here, but interestingly, they ask who the driver is, and that person gets a little plastic container, and their portion is put in it to drink later when they're not driving. There's a clock tower in the center of Duff Town, which is in the center of the Speyside whiskey right. making area. That's fresh snow out there today. There may have been some, but there's a nice dusting that's fresh. We're going over to Glen Livet in the Karen Gorms National Park. We'll be in it probably all day tomorrow. It is snowing again at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Unfortunately, the last tour of the day started at 4 o'clock, so we just missed it. But the nice people in the tasting room let us come in and sample the whiskey. This is where we were supposed to spend the night, but they were overbooked, so they sent us up the street to this B&B, &B, which was really quite nice. And then, uh, as compensation, they gave us a free dinner back at the hotel.